opening in the chest wall through which air may enter the chest cavity during the normal respiration cycle. Commonly referred to as a sucking chest wound, this injury results in a condition known as an open pneumothorax. An open pneumothorax occurs when there is a persistent communication between the internal thoracic cavity and the environment through a defect in the chest wall. Though this interferes with normal physiological ventilation, it should not create a tension pneumothorax as the intrathoracic pressure and the atmospheric pressure equalize across the open wound. A tension pneumothorax can develop with a sucking chest wound when the chest wall defect creates a one-way valve in which air can be drawn into the pleural space but cannot exit. Since the air cannot escape, the intrathoracic pressure increases and a life-threatening tension pneumothorax can develop. The initial management of an open and or sucking chest wound is to immediately apply an occlusive dressing to cover the defect and secure it in place. Bleeding from the wound site, continued sweating, body hair, and other environmental contaminants may st Step 1. Wipe any dirt and or fluid from skin with sterile gauze pad. Step 2. Grip large white flap and peel clear liner from dressing. Step 3. Place dressing on patient, adhesive side down, centered over the wound. Step 4. Peel and remove small white flap. Step 5. Firmly press dressing to skin, forming an effective seal. Position the casualty in either a sitting position or the lateral recumbent recovery position. Because air may still enter the chest cavity through the damaged lung tissue during the normal respiratory cycle, the attending medical provider continuously observes and monitors the casualty for signs of progressive breathing difficulty that may indicate the development of a tension pneumothorax. If the provider becomes concerned for a developing tension pneumothorax, they should follow their training and established protocols to treat this condition.